All right, here I am, and I am putting on new brakes on my, in the front of my Chevy Silverado. As you can see, the old brakes, a little lost, a little bit of its uh, thickness there. And I already got this bad boy off, coming to find out that my front is a dual uh, system. Dual, I can't remember the exact word, either way. Dual system, the one in the back is single. It's a single, I guess, cam, something like that. I don't know, whatever, I can't remember the damn words. Either way, new brakes came with these cool little new pieces that aren't all rusted and beat up, so you gotta figure out which ones go to which side. There's a larger section and a short, uh, skinnier section that you have to make sure you place everything properly on. It's so fun doing brakes. Uh, my rotors themselves are they feel they have a little bit of a lip i'm not sure how long these brakes uh were riding on this bad boy i don't know how long it's been since they've been changed or anything like that no, show you these little guides get on there real nice because that will help your brake move smoothly around and then always if you know, it's always smart to use a little bit of lube, a little bit of brake lubricant to help get the parts on real good, make sure that they're working properly. I did the passenger side of the vehicle already, completely, front and rear, just to give me, you know, some, uh, some good practice. Get one side done real well over here now I know all the little tips and tricks to do the this side quicker as down here in Florida we're having beautiful rainy weather 10 15 minutes every day gotta love this summer I'm trying to get it all done before today's rain hits which I'm getting a little sprinkled on currently and make sure everything on these calipers are lubed up. These dual calipers, both the pieces that press the brake into the rotor, want it to be functioning really well. And everything down in this area is very old. It's This is a 2003. It's had, I'm sure, some maintenance done to it, but it when I have bought this from uh, the previous owner, it had been sitting around for about a year. The oil change sticker uh, showed that the engine was only 100 miles over what it needed to be at for it to get its last oil change, but it was also a year and some change way past it also. So, you know, you're supposed to either by three months do the oil change or by this many miles. Well, it was 100 miles past it and a year over. So it, it, it's it been sitting for a little while and uh, it, it just needs a little TLC. And all these parts I'm gonna slowly replace over time. I just wanna get the easiest ones that I, I felt like I needed right now to be done, which would be some brakes, oil changes, uh, Gonna do my, gotta do the oil change of the um, differential and such like that, um, just to make sure things are all running properly. You know, the engine seems like it's doing good. Uh, from what I I've been reading a lot online of the engines at, uh, for Chevy Silverados, they can get you a good 300,000 miles if you uh, if you properly take care of it. And I have just always tried my hardest to really properly take care of any vehicle that I uh, come in possession of and I, I I don't really can recall many of the vehicles that I've had in recent times especially when since I've been taking so much care of every vehicle I get I get um, I don't really recall many of them ever leaving my hands without them running still uh, a lot of the vehicles you know just Basic stuff though, uh, rotating tires, oil changes, 
maybe swapping out some cushions uh, for suspension parts, new tie rods. I've been changing tie rods on vehicles and things like that to make sure steering is all proper. Uh, just just the, the basic maintenance stuff that just people just I feel like they're just too lazy. It's like, oh, it'd be so hard to. Uh... Oh wow, these brakes are really getting. They were so bad. Just no no cake on them at all. So sad, so sad. Um, yeah, I just feel that like people are just lazy. Uh, that's my opinion on it. But you know, opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one, and they all stink. Um, so I just try to keep my opinion to myself. I make suggestions, and if you're not gonna take my suggestions, then you just don't take, take you don't take them. That's it. It's very simple. The bolts. This was a fun find. Uh, the bolt is a T head, torque head. Uh, the back bolts that hold the calipers on are regular, uh, I believe, 15s. Um, 15 head bolts. So that was a fun one to figure out in the middle of doing this. I had to stop and go to the AutoZone and get a couple new parts. Not gonna put that all the way on. I could get my torque wrench out and all the other stuff. I'm sure that you know it's it's best to do that. I just I I guess I don't care enough to feel that I've never had an issue where a bolt has come flying off because it wasn't torqued down. Uh, and I've also never had the issue where I snapped the bolt off because I torqued it too hard. Um, so, I just don't find it necessary to do more than just a little arm strength. And there you go. Back on. Ready to roll. I'm going to take this uh, white lightning grease, long lasting lubrication. I'm going to go through and coat. spots here, some bushings, just trying to move them up a little bit, keep them properly uh, cushioning things, you know, hopefully that helps a little bit, and in due time, I will get that to I'll replace them and such, I'll give this whole thing a new kit. I don't know if uh, I'm not supposed to spray a couple of these spots. I, I know not to lube up this area, obviously. That's a that's a dumb thing to do. I don't know why would you want the thing that needs to slow your vehicle down to be lubricated. That's kind of a uh, just got in the way of the video camera. Either way, a little bit of spray, just going back over them. Yeah, I, I, I feel like you're able to do all this type of lubricating on these cushions and stuff, and it won't destroy it. anything. Hopefully it helps. A little less squeaking. And then when I do come in to uh, replace all these guys, all this stuff when I do come in here to do it. Maybe the bolts won't be uh, frozen. That's always a problem. But yeah. White light. I've never used this. I've only used like WD-40 and other Greases, regular, normal, everyday greases. Yeah. But that's the front finished up. Where's my trash bag? Where's my trash bag? Let's go press down on the brake and uh, make sure everything here is tight.
All right. And that should be that. It's all solid, shaky, good. And to the back. 